Welcome to episode number 8 of Non-Invasive Positive Pressure Ventilation and please make sure you watch these episodes in order and today episode finally we're going to talk about BPAP positive pressure bi-level positive positive airway pressure and the common name is BiPAP so when we see when we say BiPAP that means BPAP then BiPAP is the brand name or commercial name of a machine widely used in the hospitals okay based on what we studies this machine a way of non-invasive ventilation it called by level provide two level of pressures IPAP inspiratory positive airway pressure and EPAP expiratory positive airway pressure and we said this is equivalent to the PEEP and this is equivalent of to pressure support if you among the institution you again let me put it again just to because it keeps confusing if we say 10 over 5 say this is IPAP if the RT in your institution use this as the pressure support Delta P this is true some they use this is just the value of IP so the Delta P will be 10 minus 5 in our institution we say 10 over 5 that means above the 5 go 10 more okay so the BiPAP provide these two values to the patient so they use a pressure target as we just explained that means they tell the machine please this is the baseline pressure go to this pressure during inspiration so it's pressure target the trigger as we said the trigger mainly it's a patient triggered and pressure triggered as we explained so the patient triggered can be flow triggered or can be pressure triggered but the patient take a breath drop the in intrathoracic pressure the machine sends that and provide breath so it's very important to understand in BiPAP where we're using the full mask the patient is has to be awake enough to protect his airways and if not there is that high risk of aspiration of the BiPAP or BPAP and make things worse despite that you will see some respiratory therapists may ask you what's the backup rate that means the machine still yes provide controlled breaths and you can pick 10 12 whatever but really monitor that if the patient using only the backup rate that means he's pretty obtunded and likely needs to be intubated so remember that but if you need to provide backup rate yeah that's that's okay so and the cycle the ventilator will terminate use a flow cycle as we just explained at 25 percent so if we gonna improve the ventilation we have to increase the pressure support the gap between these two values so the delta p or pressure support to increase the tidal volume or decrease tidal volume if you want to work on the oxygenation you need to work on the epap somebody who's retaining co2 and hypoxic so okay he's now in 10 over 5 right but he's still hypoxic and retaining you need to improve this don't say 10 over 10 no so you need to increase both so we can go 20 over 10 for example so you need to increase both don't increase the apap without changing this because this will worsen it will decrease the tidal volume improve oxygenation but will decrease tidal volume remember that's really important so to depict this as we said we have this epap and then we go to the ipap again this the pressure trigger and then go just to show usually expiration is longer than inspiration unlikely here and on the flow we'll see this the peak flow and go like this and then expiration and then go again so that's how BiPAP works there is two values we need to provide 
and I'll demonstrate that on the machine in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released. Glad to have you on board.